cults you probably know about. Let's talk about it. Hello guys, welcome back to another Let's Talk About It. In today's video, I wanted to go over the subject of cults. That's C-U-L-T-S. Not to be confused with a similar word. Now, personally, I find cults to be fascinating. Greetings and salutations, mankind. The world as we know it is preparing itself for an evolution that will see us live in paradise within the golden circle on the outskirts of the nine realities of consciousness. But for me, the fact that there are people out there who have such influence over a group of people to get them to do basically whatever they want, even though everyone on the outside of these groups can see how crazy these things are, the members of these groups can still be so heavily influenced and manipulated by um, often one person. So the first cult that I'd like to talk about is Heaven's Gate. So Heaven's Gate was formed in 1974 by Bonnie Nettles and Marshall Applewhite. Now, due to their belief in UFOlogy, uh, you know, spaceships, aliens, things like that, they are identified as being a UFO religion with the belief that members can be transformed into immortal aliens and could ascend to the evolutionary level above humans. For those of you who wish to reach a higher state of existence, it is possible with my help. But there is a cost. Now, up until the death of Bonnie Nettles to cancer in 1985, members of Heaven's Gate believed that a UFO would come to Earth and take them alive to Heaven. But after her passing, they decided that the human body is simply a vessel and that when you die, your consciousness is transferred to a next level body. Now, the cult operated for many, many years, but in 1997, things took a horrible turn. In March of that year, Applewhite claims that there was an alien spaceship that was tailing the comet Haley Bop and that this event was the closure of Heaven's Gate, which convinced 38 members that they must prepare for ritual suicide in order to board this craft, which would then take their souls to a level of existence above humans, which has been their aim the entire time. I wouldn't imagine it took much convincing because obviously this was everything they were looking for. This is what they believed in, this is what they dreamed of, this is what they wanted. So when the leader, Marshall Applewhite, tells them that the time has come for this event, they are going to believe it and they are going to go through with it. Not the illusionary concept of money or imaginary material possessions, no. All that is required from you are your likes, shares, subscribes, views and comments. Forever. So, to end their lives, the 39 members, including Applewhite, consumed a poisoned apple sauce or pudding, to, drank vodka and secured plastic bags over their heads and effectively waited to suffocate to death. All of the members were dressed in identical black tracksuits and were wearing black and white Nike decades and had Heaven's Gate away team armbands on as well, um, which I mean, I suppose there's some element of fun in that, if that's even a word you can use for this kind of thing. The next cult to talk about is one called the Order of the Solar Temple. Now, let me just say, I apologize in advance if I get the pron pronunciations of these names wrong, but I'll try my best. So the Solar Temple was founded in 1984 by Joseph de Mambro and Luc Jurette in Geneva, Switzerland. And they practiced a combination of rituals from early Christianity, 
New Age philosophy and Freemasonry um, alongside their beliefs in UFOs. For you are my foundlings and I am the beacon of hope, the winds of change, the father of time, the one they call God. They were mostly a peaceful group until 1994 when a three-month-old baby boy called Emmanuel de Toit was murdered with a wooden stake under the orders of cult leader de Mambro because he believed that the young boy was the Antichrist. I mean, when you start getting into that kind of talk, you, you know these people are absolutely insane. And when you have someone with, with his level of influence over people, and that level of paranoia it is a very, very dangerous combination, which will become very clear as this story goes on. So after the murder of an innocent child, De Mambro and Jurette, along with, I think, 10 other uh, cult members, had what you could describe as a last supper, after which they committed suicide. This then led to the murder or suicide of around 50 members who were either shot, suffocated or poisoned. And it is thought that the murders were to stop challenges to the leadership of the cult and that the suicides would allow people to enter a higher plane of existence. But whatever the truth is, it's obviously another tragic, tragic event. The final cult that I'd like to talk about is the People's Temple. So this group was formed in 1955 by the Reverend Jim Jones in Indiana, USA. You can call me by my name, Nam Ned Zella, the Imperial Light of the Foundation. It was basically formed to be a progressive utopian community with its beliefs being founded in um, social and racial equality. Now, over the years that the group was active for, they experienced a lot of media scrutiny for their practices, which in 1974 led to Jim Jones moving the group to Guyana, where they set up an agricultural settlement known as Jonestown. And by 1978, they had a population of around 900. And it was in this year that things took a very dark turn when a United States representative called Leo Ryan visited Jonestown to investigate claims of abuse. Now, when he arrived to do his investigation, several members of the People's Temple wanted out, they wanted to leave the group, go back to their normal lives, not have to be living this way anymore. So he took them with him. When these defectors, as they were seen as, reached a local airstrip in Guyana, they were set upon by the People's Temple's security guards who opened fire on the group, killing Leo Ryan, three journalists, one former cult member and injuring nine others. That same evening, Jim Jones ordered the population of Jonestown to drink a cyanide-laced Kool-Aid, which resulted in the death of 918 people with 276 of them being children. So guys, I hope you found some interest in this topic today. If you have any comments, I'd love to hear them. So please let me know below. Otherwise, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Join us and I will set you free.